Hi, my name is Matteo Lane. And my name is Nadine Sierra. <laughs> and welcome to the <laughs> Metropolitan Opera here at PBS. <laughs> now I'm in a whole new world with you. Now I'm in a whole new world. Unbelievable sight. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's a very, very special day. I am standing with probably the world's best soprano. Her name is Nadine Sierra. Thank you. And we are here at the Metropolitan Opera. We and are. Nadine has agreed to give us a tour and we're gonna sing with each other. I'm so happy to welcome you to it. I don't know what I was doing, but all of a sudden I get, I get a DM from Nadine and it was like, hey, I think you're funny. Do you wanna come see me perform in Lucia? And then I was sitting with Nick and I was like, um, why am I getting a, me and Nick knows everything about opera yeah. He's like, this, this is it's actually fake. her? Is it fake? Are they doing a promo? Why would she be texting you? And then so we were taking that like, no, it's actually fucking Nadine. So he's like, well, I have to go with you. So we of got course. tickets, we went, and of course I was absolutely blown away. That was an amazing production yeah, that too. Was amazing. So we can do Disney, we do can just have fun. Do you know a whole new world? Do, do you think oh I turned God. gay yesterday? <laughs> do I know a whole new world? I could do Jasmine. I could be Iago. Iago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, I'm so ticked off that I'm molting. Should I be Jasmine? You want to be Jasmine? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm the joking. question is, Mateo, do you want to be Jasmine? I wish I was Jasmine, I often feel like Aladdin. Okay, By let's... the way, this is Brian Wagner. Gorn. Brian is so talented. Love him. Okay, He's very let's versatile. do let's do a whole new world. You sing a lot in both. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I can show you the world. Oh my God, so much quieter. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Ooh, nice. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? Over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride. A whole new world, yes. a new fantastic point of view. A whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. But when I'm way up here, it's crystal clear that now I'm in a whole new world with you. Now I'm in a whole new world. A whole new world, a whole new world. That's, where we'll be. that's where we'll be, a thrilling change, a wondrous place for you and me. I fucked up the harmony earlier. No, you didn't! Oh my god! I was trying to... You know what's so funny is that we're at the Met and you're literally one of the lead sopranos on Earth and we're like, let's sing Disney. <laughs> like, these wow. songs will never, ever leave us. No. It's so nice to hear someone hit the notes. <laughs> the amount of times I sang that in karaoke and I'm like, mm, I'll Ooh. just do it by myself. <laughs> this room, this is like where we do a lot of staging stuff. We also have orchestra rehearsals here. So like when we're ready to go on stage with orchestra, we rehearse here with Maestro, the whole Met Orchestra. We all stand in the back, like behind the orchestra and we just go through the whole piece, the whole opera. You know, cause as I'm watching, I'm like, there's so much singing. There's so much happening. Like how do you remember all of it? Like, is there the guy in the thing going like, yes. there is? Yes. Really? Yes. I thought that was like old school. Like, oh, okay. Oh no, honey. For those they watching still at home, do that. there's a man on the floor in like a little like window, yeah. and like he little yells box. the lyrics. Yes. Just in case we get lost throughout the music, there can be moments because nothing's mic'd. The orchestra is not mic'd, and we're not mic'd. So there can be moments where we actually don't even hear what's going on. That's why it's very important to have a conductor because the conductor is sort of leading the way for every measure, every bar, every beat, every note, every whatever. If we get lost, like while we're acting or we're kissing, the prompter is there to be like, hello, hello, and get us back on track. You need to hire a gay man <laughs> who, with a script who can just yell, uh, time to die, Juliet. <laughs> you know, I could do that. Because I could never make it as a singer at the Metropolitan Opera, I could sit in a little window and scream, uh, Nadine, you look a little sleepy. It's time to wake up. Do you have a favorite note to sing? Oh, that's a good No one's ever asked me that question. Well, I love that. Father Walters, I know you're no longer here, but you could have taken a few lessons. Because you have a what? Three, uh, more than three octaves. You've got I don't to. Know. Maybe. I, I've actually never counted, to be quite Well, we honest. know you can hit a high E flat, a high yes. E. On my good days, I can hit a high E. On my very good days, I can hit a high F. Okay, but... so then we're at an F. <laughs> All the way to an F. Sure. 
And then you I have great say chest tones. We, especially women, when we grow older, the voice sort of develops and the lower notes become a little better. The high notes, uh -huh, there has to be some work. <laughs> but I'd say my favorite note is like. Can maybe? I guess before you do it? Yeah. I would say your favorite note is probably, I would say a D5. D5? So like there? Yeah. It's G. Oh my God. So or like. High. That's a good note for me. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the highest I can go. Is that the note I'm doing? Yeah. Yes. So. Amazing. Go. Being a soprano, how to like actually put people into their categories, right? Of like bass, baritone, tenor. It's like Hogwarts. <laughs> Did they just put <laughs> a hat on you and it's like color a tour. Now go to the left. <laughs> Basically, yes. Yeah. I want so badly to be a tenor, but it's not in it for me. No, you don't want to be a tenor. Yeah, I bet they have it's the a best very roles. No, honey, it's a very stressful life. I can't hit my high note. That's <laughs> Yes. It's gone. Yes. All right, yes. we'll do a little bit of this because this is what we did. I did a show at Carnegie Hall yes. and someone's like, you should sing. And I was like, yeah, but that's humiliating to like no. do an hour of me and then more of me. me. What if I asked Nadine to just come sing with me? I was me? so happy that you asked me. Oh, those gays lost their minds. <laughs> Let's see if I remember now. I know. La tirare la mano. La mi dari si. I can't even yes. read, okay. Si vedi non è lontano. Yeah, Sorry. Parti da, this is always, I fuck this up. It's okay. Parti da me per un lio da qui. Perfect. Vorrei e non vorrei Mi trema un poco il cor Felice vir sarai I forgot the last part. <laughs> Do we go look at the stage? You guys want to see the yeah. stage? Let's go look at it. Okay. Wow. You don't have to walk up all these stairs in your outfit, do you? No. Oh, the curtain's closed? Yeah. This is the you think we can go in front of it? Wow, it's really dark. Yes. <laughs> Hello! Beep! Oh yeah, it does. I mean, they yeah, did build it so it like projects, right? This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, here they go, Chris. We're our own shitty concert. Wait, look out the dean's you know. It's a little bit toward here. There you are. Right Good. here? Good. Yep. Okay. And then which, where do I sing? So like, toward that direction. Can you sing a note for us? <clears throat> I guess you're right that like a Broadway singer, it wouldn't even like, and Mormons just be like, it's not gonna project like. So you do that, <laughs> and I'm gonna do it the opera okay. operatic way. Okay. So the same. And Mormons just believe. And Mormons just believe. I'm gonna try. <clears throat> now you see, it's a different so cool. sound. Because this theater is built for that. Should we get off here before we yes. fall or get haunted? Is there, is there a Met ghost? There is. So the first time I came to see you, we sat, I think, here. We were sitting like right here. Oh, so close. Here. So I was here, and then Nick was here, and then next to Nick was a woman in her early hundreds. Nick asked her, Nick goes, oh, well, I love your blouse. And she looked at him, she goes, thanks. And turns around, and Nick goes, the hell is her problem? <laughs> I'm wearing the same blouse as her. Isn't she going to compliment me? I said, Nick, we're not going to be fighting. We are literally at the Metropolitan Opera. Now stop it. It feels so cool to be like, yeah, I'm here with Nadine. Yeah. I'm here with the soprano. <laughs> Hi, my name is Matteo Lane. My name is Nadine Sierra. And welcome to the <laughs> Metropolitan Opera here at PBS. <laughs> I just figured this is a very PBS thing. It is actually very yeah, yeah. PBS. <laughs> Tonight, uh, we will be doing Annie, but written by Bellini. Some don't know that he actually composed Annie. Annie doesn't make it in the end. Oh, we should oh, do Sleeping we Beauty. Should. Okay, we'll Ryan, end on Sleeping we do Beauty. That? Real quick, before we start singing, the fairies really are to blame here. They are. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. I know.
Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. I was just in the bushes hanging out, just watching you. Let me join in here real quick there. <laughs> know what you'll do, you love me at once. Nice. The way you did once upon a dream. And the fairies are like, cover it up. I thought this was so wonderful. Thank you so much for thank such a you, wonderful Mateo. day. Seriously, and I thank had you, so Brian. much fun. Brian, we love you. you, Brian. Well, we had so much fun. Brian and Nadine, where can we find you guys if people are interested in searching for you online? So you're <laughs> at Brian Waggorn. At Brian Waggorn. Exactly. And I'm yeah. at Nadine.Sierra. And uh, I am Mateo Lane, and I'm currently on tour, so go to MateoLaneComedy.com. All right, thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye.